let's look at some declarations and i'll first start with just simple declarations no no arrays yet we'll just take simple declarations so say i have a declaration like this i have a u int 16 underscore t i declared a variable called a a a like this so we know that by definition this variable is in is it in memory is it in ram or rom how can i tell by looking at this declaration whether it's going to go in ram or rom is it a variable or a constant it's a variable the only way something goes into something is a is a constant is if i put the word const in front of it i didn't put the word const so therefore it's a variable which means in assembly this is your c in assembly this what the assembly equivalent of this is there is an area statement with the word data and an align equals two let's say and this translates to a a a space what two why two please because it's 16 bits and 16 bits is two bytes and that's what it is so that's the translation of now if i had a statement a different statement let's say i had a c i had a int 32 underscore t uh c c c a constant of some kind uh, let me put a, a c c c uh int 32 underscore t and i put a const in front of it and i gave it a, a certain value let's say i made it a zero x one two three four five six So we know that this statement will translate to uh, it going into the ROM. So how does it look like in assembly? It would in assembly there would be an area statement somewhere in your code. There'll be an area statement with the word code, and it'll say there'll be some other flags in it. Let's not worry about it. There's a read-only flag, but for now I'm just going to say a line equals two. And then there's going to be a statement under it. What will the statement be? Will it be a space statement? Yeah. He says it's an EQU statement. Let's understand, right? Yeah. A DC statement. It's a DCD statement. I'll tell you why, right? It's a DCD D statement like this. It's a DCD and it'll say 0x123456. Now, why is it not an EQU statement? Remember, EQU statements in assembly are basically the equivalent of that is hash defines in, in C. And neither take up space. That's the fundamental thing about them. They're used to declare literals that don't take up any space. But this guy takes up space. How much space does this guy take up? 32 bits of memory in the ROM, right? Takes up 32 bits of space in the ROM. If you use don't take any space, these are space, they don't occupy any space, they're used for literals. So say I wanted to do something like this. I wanted to write a statement that simply says in my code, I said AAA equals, I'm, I don't know, 42. This is a statement in my code. This is a C statement. What does this translate to in assembly? Well, in assembly, we know that I would have to do something like this. I would have to say LDR R not equals AAA. I get the address of R AAA into a register. I then move into some register R1 pound 42. And then I would store R1 into R0. And why do I use the H here? Because because this is a 16-bit number. Yeah. 
because it's a 16 bit number I use an H because H is stands for half of word, right? If I did an SPR, the risk of doing an SPR is that I would not only write those 16 bits, but I'll also write the next 16 bits. I want to be precise so that's what I'm doing in this case, right? So while we read this, let me clarify something. This is a note. This should have been clear to you guys by now, but I'm going to spell it out anyway. When I do LDR, I can, particularly with the equal statement, if I say this is my destination, I can use uh, equals and I can put something here. What are valid things I can put here? Typically, I just put a label, but I can also put a constant. Okay. Let me explain what that means. If I were to put, let's say, let's take an EQU statement of some kind. If there were, uh, if I had, let's say in my code here, in my assembly, I had, uh, by the way, the EQ statement, since they don't take up memory, you can put them anywhere in your code. It doesn't matter. You can put them in the RAM here or here or here. In fact, you can stick one in the middle of that too. Because the, what the assembler does is it sees it and says, I know what you're talking about. I'm going to throw it out and I'm going to make a mental note of it. Right? So it doesn't matter where you where you put EQU statement. Yeah. So when you do an LDR with equal, like, put a label, like it grabs up to see like uh, that many location, right? Yeah. So yeah, so 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 that's what I want to tell you, right? That's why. So there are two possibilities, right? Let's take the first possibility. Let's say I have a a foo equ, and let's put something in here. Let's say foo equ. I did a zero x uh, uh, four thousand one two three four. I'm just making this up. So if I do a who here, what am I doing? Remember, who doesn't take up space, right? Literals don't take up space. So who is a synonym for that value that I put there? So this is equal to, this is the same thing as saying LDR RD comma equal zero X 4,000 one, two, three, four. There's no difference between the two. You tell me why I would prefer doing this versus this then. Because now that I have two as an, a literal, I can use it a hundred times. I don't want to have to repeat that, that number and I can change that number and everywhere I, in my code where foo is used, it will be changed to this new value, right? That's the advantage of it. So it's a literal, but it doesn't take in any space. So the LDR, when I use it with an EQU, what it's really doing is it's saying that the preprocessor is replacing all occurrences of foo by this literal value, right? What is the other way of using LDR? The other way of using LDR is what we see here, which is if I say, for example, LDR CCC, what am I doing here? Second, this is the second possibility. If I say C, what is happening is the destination register is getting the address of dot CCC. So if you think about what what this CCC is in memory, somewhere in memory, I'm gonna make this be a zero x zero 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 four zero zero, let's say. And this is where my CCC is. And how big is CCC? It's made up of four bytes. This is CCC. Yeah, because it is 32 bits. That's my CCC. So what does it do when I ask it to do LDR destination bit? It gets the memory address of CCC. In other words, it's getting our destination now gets the value, whatever your destination is, it's going to get the 0x 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, because it's saying, give me the address of it. Now, really think about, if you really reason this out, what it's really doing is, 
when I say CTCC, it's going and getting the address on the symbol table. Remember the symbol table that generated? It's that address that's in the symbol table. It's just loading that address on the symbol table. Okay. Uh, this instruction is notorious because it confuses people a lot. But in fact, I'm going to not even tell you why it confuses people because because one of the problems with this instruction is let's say this is the instruction. How big is this instruction? How many bytes do you think this instruction? Let's say this instruction. How big is this instruction? Can you can guys guess how big it might be? Can it be 32 bits? Or can it be more than 32 bits? How big is this font, this guy here? 32 bits. So it has to be more than 32 bits because I have to convey this constant, the opcode, and the destination register. So this instruction, it's by if, if we were to think of this as an active instruction, it has to be more than 32 bits because it has to em embed within it the, ed the value and the instruction itself. Well, the reason that's why it makes it confusing because really what happens what the assembler does in writing instruction is he will the, the assembler goes and takes this constant, picks it in memory somewhere, and writes a PC relative instruction to go fetch it. So it's actually two lines of code, not one line of code. Okay. So don't worry about it. For now, just know that LDR can be used two ways. One to get a Literal and the other to get the address of a variable or constant. In this case, it happens to be a constant. But all addresses are basically part of the symbol table, and you're just getting the address from the symbol table. Okay. 